Hi guys, we are continuing with the day 7 videos uh, of the selected problems from NFTQ module 1 Programming Fundamentals with Python and in this particular program or uh, we have to create a Python function encrypt underscore sentence which accepts a message and encrypts it based on the rules given below. So basically a sentence would be a collection of words and the words located at odd position would be reversed and the words at even position would be rearranged in such a way that all the consonants appear before the vowel and their order does not change. So we have to note that uh, we are assuming that the sentence would begin with a word and there would be a single space between the word and the case sensitive operations are performed wherever necessary. So if the sample input is sun rises, the sun rises in the east, as you can see that initially the first word is in uh, the even position. So the uh, is in the even position. So I guess uh, they are considering the zeroth index uh, to be the odd position. Actually, they are taking it to be one index. So the first word is reversed the second word the vowels are printed before the uh, the consonants are placed before the vowels and so on so it would be one index basically so uh, if you are preparing a list it would be just the opposite the odd index would be the even one and the even index would be the odd one let's see what we are getting as our output and we would be changing on um, on what the output is okay if we are getting the output as correct uh, then we would be uh, keeping the conditions as same or we would be changing it but now since we can see that they are taking it as one index so whenever uh, i mod 2 is equal to equal to 0 that is for the even one we would be reversing it that is basically we would be doing this in case of this and we would be rearranging for the odd position okay so let's go to our pie chunk and let's just code this so this particular program is uh, this is problem number 34 <clears throat> so this is problem number 34 and uh, let's create a function as encrypt underscore sentence uh, sorry guys dev encrypt underscore sentence and that takes in an input as sentence there will be a colon here so what would the words be the words is equal to sentence dot split there would be a space in between so words would be <coughs> the sentence would be splitted on the basis of species and it would be added to a list called words so words would be sentence or split and let's keep an encrypted list as encrypt and for i in range let's keep the length of the uh, words as the range here so we would be iterating through all of the words for i in range len of words if uh, for so what we had decided for an for a even index we would be reversing it okay so if i mod 2 is not equal to 0 we would be reversing it so encrypt dot append words of i and it would be reverse so it would be colon colon minus one so we have reversed and added it to the encrypt else if it is not equal to zero if it is equal to equal to zero uh, let's create a vowel set okay what would the vowel set be vowel underscore set would be equal to set of we would be providing the letters inside it a e i o u and a e i o u 
So what is novel set basically? Let's just check what happens here. So print, if I'm providing this particular thing here, what happens that whatever string I'm providing here, they are divided into individual letters and we are getting them in a set format, okay? As you can see here, we are getting them as a set format. A, uh, all of the letters are added to the set and they are print uh, all of the letters are added to a set and we can basically use that as a data, <laughs> data structure okay so vowel underscore set and we can check whether a particular letter lies in the vowel underscore set or not so we would be uh, iterating through our um, word before that we would be creating two empty lists as vowels and consonants so for letter in vowels uh, for letter in words word sorry for letter in word uh, so it is not a word we would be iterating through words with index i for letter in words if letter in vowel vowel underscore set I would be appending it to vowels vowels dot append letter else vowels dot append uh, so we would be appending it to consonants otherwise if it is not a vowel we would be appending it to consonants so consonants dot append letter so we have append, uh, created the list of vowels and consonants of a particular word and we would be appending to the list encrypt first we would be adding consonants first let's create the join function and in the join we would be providing a list as consonants plus vowels so first our consonants would be there and then our vowels would be there and then we would be joining them with a uh, with no symbol. So it would basically be a word and we have our encrypt. Now our encrypt is a list of words that, uh, that has been encrypted uh, from the words that we had taken in from the sentence. Now we have to return the sentence also. That would also be a join and we would be providing the encrypt as the parameter of the join function. So let's print the output. So the output would be encrypt underscore sentence and we would be passing the sentence as let's take in the input as provided here. So it would be the sun rises in the east. And let's just also copy the output that they are expecting. So we can check it. And we can check whether the conditions that we had provided were correct or not. Okay. Uh, sorry guys. So yeah. Let's run our code. Uh, so we are not getting as we had expected. Uh, because it would be equal to equal to zero so initially what I had thought that they are taking it as one index but no they are taking it as reverse index uh, as zero based index only sorry for the confusion guys let's run our code again so we are getting it as a new SCSIR as the encryption was supposed to be we are getting an uh, encryption in the same way. So thanks for watching this video guys. I hope you understood that. For, sorry for the uh, confusion that was there for the 0 and the 1 indexed. Uh, but we have on matching the test cases. Uh, this usually happens that when you are coding for a particular uh, problem. Uh, you usually match your problem with the test case first you think uh, on reading the question you might see that might feel that the code must work out in a particular way but when you are seeing the test case and it is not matching you can make changes in your particular code and 
get the desirable test cases to match so thanks for watching this video guys see you in the next one